What is going on, everybody? Draco Invictus here, kicking off another night of uh, grounded gameplay. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun tonight. <laughs> that's, uh, that's it. Uh, Draco the Raid Roach Motel Invictus. It's a long name, but it's kind of catchy. So <laughs> yeah, we're going to get this done and uh, we're going to get the party started here. What's going on, Frank? Honestly, guys, I I need new content. I need updates. I need something for this game. So that's that's where that's where we're at. You know, what else can I do? I just got to run around killing crap. And uh, I think we're gonna take apart the ant hill tonight. So let's get into it. All right, and uh, there we go. Bring in uh, the game audio. Big Frank. How you doing, buddy? All right, so here we are. Um, we are back at the house. And uh, we are rocking uh, two parts of the spider set and our cap. Because we are looking for... Oh, I guess we did get it. Yeah, we got it last stream. Number three in sharpshooter. So I think that uh, we're going to go like totally ballistic here. Looks like we need to repair our mint mallet. So let's get that done. Got to start things off right. Oh, look at that. No quartzite here. Hmm. Guess we got to go get some quartzite. Interesting. All right. That's fine. I don't need no stinking quartzite. Uh, let's grab a stack of old weevil or gnat there so that we have something good to eat. Huh, good. Relative term. Come up here, get a couple drops to drink. And I wanted to try something a little bit different tonight. I want to try... Um, let's see. I think I have a spider fang dagger. I need to look. Do I? No, that's the rotten one. I do. Okay, so I need to get that fixed too. So I want to see with all of our extra stamina and stuff like that, if uh, that's going to help. So. Got the scabby on the east laser. Um, wow, well, I didn't know there was one on another laser. I knew that there was one that was on the top of, um, that laser there. Which is the west laser, actually. Yeah, because that's north. So, yeah, that'd be the western laser. Didn't know there was one on the eastern one. Good to know. All right, so we got to go get some quartzite. Ah, okay. But that was a climb, huh? Not as bad as us trying to get onto the damn porch the other night, though. That was ridiculous. All to find out that it's been glitched into the, uh, into the box. So, uh, let's see. Do we have our ant set with us? We do Oh, no, it's at the ant hill. We could... That would be easier to get quartzite over there. Because we got to tear down the, uh, the ant trap anyway. Yeah, I'm sure they actually knew about it. Come on, we couldn't have been the first ones to figure that out. Oh, look at that. The lure trap. Oh, did I break the lure trap? Yes, I did. Because I, I kind of, I broke this so that they could get through. But I think I'm just going to disassemble the whole thing other than where our chest is up here. So let's grab this really quick. And El Torcho...
So we're going to break the mint mallet, getting what we need to repair the mint mallet. Quartzite, quartzite for everyone. Quartzite peblet. Might as well get the one back here too, huh? And since we're not actually using it to fight, I think I'll just uh, use the mint mallet until the, the thing breaks down here. <laughs> and then we'll fix it that way. Switch it up the other night with a different game, uh, maybe. Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, I'm not, I'm not done playing Grounded. I just can't think of what else we can do. The stream's kind of getting stale simply because we have... Nothing different to do. So, yeah. No, I'm definitely going to be doing more uh, Night of the Dead. That is uh, That game is a lot of fun. But it also is in early access. But granted, it's pretty straightforward. It, it is what it is. You know, I can choose to be on the island as long as I want. I can go gather uh, up all the pieces that we need to get off the island. And it's kind of like uh, State of Decay 2 in that matter. You know, the fact that um, if you really wanted to push, you could build the, the tower and you, you can finish the community. Just kill all the hearts on your map and, you know, blah, 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 and you're done. Now, the interesting thing with State of Decay 2 is that then you can start a new community with maybe some members of your old community. Start with some of their gear that they had in their backpack. That kind of a thing. So there was certainly a um, another uh, a, a new game plus kind of a feel for it. So no, and, and I'm still going to be putting out content for Grounded and stuff like that. Uh, there's actually a couple different video ideas that I'm working on. I'm fleshing them out. And um, I want to make sure that everything is copacetic. See, the eggs aren't spawning right. This whole thing is just a hot mess. Oh, guys, please, please, please. I'm not trying to hit any. Oh, he just walked in front of me, didn't he? Would you guys stop it? All right, I'm not going after that one. I really don't want to piss off all these warrior ants. <laughs> Not in the dark. One torch. There we go. Sweet Lord, it's hard to see in here. There we go. I know I'm missing a piece, but sweet. I have 47 right now. So maybe we'll go look for that scabby tonight there. Frank, you can be our tour guide. All right, I have 47. I don't think I need uh, any more than that right now. So let's go ahead and we're going to repair our mint mallet. And we're going to repair the spider fang dagger. And I'm going to put that into slot. Uh, we'll put it into slot two and then move the axe to slot three. So now let's uh, get the Fiznuck out of here. Beautiful thing about the Spider Fang Dagger is that it's fast. And um, you can use it with a torch. So, bonus on that. And we're out. But I am really digging on my bow right now, you know. You know, it's funny. I think about a bow, you know, and then it makes me think, okay, a ranger, role-playing games, you know. And uh, one of the very first characters that I ever made for Dungeons & Dragons when I was in junior high school was a ranger. So, and that was like original Dungeons & Dragons there. All right, so let's see. The best way to get up there. Let's take a look at this. Let's look at this a little objectively. Now, 
See, I'm not, I'm still not getting a marker. Don't get pissy with me. I'm not getting anything from the, uh, the old scabby here. Are you sure, Frank? Because my scabby's not lighting up at all. All right. <laughs> you can tell I've been playing a little bit of Night of the Dead because I'm trying to hit the right mouse button so that I could aim. <laughs> because that's how you, you aim with the right trigger and fire with the left trigger, so. Are you sure I'm on the right one? You're sure it's east and not west. Come on. You guys want to keep talking crap? Let's go. Really, I totally shot that into the log. There's two of them that are north, Frank. They're they're even, buddy. I guess they're not technically. Yeah, see. So, you're talking about this one over here. So I already got the one over here. So you're saying there was one on the east side. All right. I'm just going to punch it to death. Huh? Punch an ore weaver to death. Oh, final blow with the knife. Ha ha ha. Oh, you want some too? All right, I need to get some sort of heals going. That was all funny ending, y'all. But... <laughs> Damn it, I died. That's all right. I'm like literally around the corner. Oh, 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 lands on the stick for the win. I stuck it. See what I did there? God, I feel so slow without my armor on. <laughs> oh, I guess that's what everyone says now, though. Because you know all of dozens of people have watched my video about what is the best armor for running and sprinting and all that stuff. Now let's take a moment and gather our thoughts. Hey, buddy. Well, the oak tree is north, the house is south, because it's actually based on the map. Right, so up here. So you're saying on the east, the, the northeast laser. Because you said east, so I'm confused. Because there, I already got the one that was on the top of the, the north laser, the one closest to the north. I already got that one. It's uh, this one that we want to head towards. Mmm, some Slurpees. Yeah, I already did that one. Like, weeks ago. <laughs> yep, that's done. You know the problem with the uh, the spider fang dagger? Here's the big problem. And this is why I stopped using it a couple weeks ago. I got into a fight with a couple orb weavers. And it was fully refreshly charged. 
and now look at the durability on it. It's already down, what, a fifth? <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I don't know that the spider fang dagger is actually all that in a bag of chips. Come on, get in there. Merge! Merge! Oh, I got it. Oh, it came back out. All right. Um, what do we want to do? Let's see. We got to kill bombardier beetles and, of course, ladybugs. So bombardier beetles um, are probably still totally broken. In my save, anyway. The only two that I actually know of that still exist in the game are over in the corner. Which were the other two, that uh, the two of the five that I currently have listed there. Look at them. They're all full. <laughs> I got four containers sitting here ready to be built and every single one of them is already full. That's hilarious. Yeah, see, then I could, like, box them. You know, that'd be okay. I'd be okay with that. So the ants should now be free to do whatever it is that they do. We got an orb weaver. Oh, yes. Fighting the good fight over here out the old bow get in a shot on the orb weaver looks like he may be winning oh he just took some damage though let's get in the shot on the oh yeah got the stink bug too the stupid mites gonna bother me though isn't he come on where'd he go did they both die no he's there the hell am I hitting there yes the durability absolutely sucks on the spider fang dagger I will say that arrows are infinitely more easy to pick up in, in grounded That's how you're supposed to rock the spider fang, but it's now half damaged. <laughs> it's now at 50% durability. That is not good. How this is a tier two weapon, I don't, I mean, it's fantastic as far as, I mean, I had a lot, it's very, it's very sippy on the stamina, which is great. But the durability, what, I get in two, three fights and I have to fix it? Sweet Jesus, I can swing the mint hammer for days before I have to fix it. Might. I do have to re-equip my uh, dandelion, though. These guys may not have spawned back in yet. I don't think that they have. So that means I'm totally hosed. Fubar. Screwed. All right, well, I guess we'll go check over by the outlet then. And now that they moved Rash, is he on an island? 
Did I see that right? When we passed by him the other night. Is he on his own little island? A lot of dry grass chunks in here, huh? Did you watch the live stream between undead? No, I missed it, Frank. Because I think I was streaming at the time, or, or I was going to be streaming. All right, so here's Rash. So let's uh, let's take a let's circle this little chunk of land here, shall we? Okay, we're looking for any other connection. Oh, I'm totally okay with it doing great damage. I'm I'm fine with that. That's not my issue. My issue is the durability. I shouldn't have to carry around four slots of quartzite to have a night of gaming. That's my point. <laughs> if you're going to give me a weapon that can do, you know, tier two damage, that can stand up with a freaking spider. Not perfect blocks and all that stuff. Just let's go toe to toe. And I'm using my maneuverability against theirs. And I'm just not seeing it. All right. This is an island. He said the bird will never attack you as birds don't eat ants. So you won't. Yeah, exactly. That, that was my thought. That we're not big enough for the bird to even consider us. We're too small. What's going on, random boy? Exactly, Baba Ganesh. I mean, now granted, I mean, what what is the reason? What, what did they change it to? It used to be like every two in-game days. Whoa. It used to be two every in-game days, Quartzite would respawn. And then it kind of got broken or something like that. So I don't know what they changed it to. I know it's not like a week. It's not seven days. It may be four or five. But you can collect 150 every few days. I mean, my video still holds true in that regard. But when you need three to repair your dagger three or four times a day, not worth it. So, guys, this may very well be the best place to build in the game. You have to deal with the grass growing. I don't think there's like a good spot to build maybe out over the water because you get the clover and the dry grass there aren't many weeds here you'd have to bring them in you'd have to build a bridge but you would never have to worry about ants because the only thing out here are aphids and weevils this could very well be the best location to build in the game. I mean, it's a horrible location because you've got grass and clover and dry grass all over the place. But as far as a safety standpoint, the, I'm going to call it Rash Island. Rash Island could be a fantastic place to build. I mean, hell, you could put a bridge from here over to that little shoreline there and build in between. Build like a little sky bridge and that's your house. But this could be the point. What is going on, Tacitus? Welcome to the stream. I want to welcome everybody to the stream. So Frank, how was that that stream with uh, Undead Labs and and the guys at Obsidian? How was it? Was it good? I may have to go back and watch the replay. Now, guys, I'm not staying up late tonight. Um, I um, I have my first 
new day at the job at the job so um i i gotta be up a little bit earlier than i normally get to It was okay. All right. Yeah, it, it, the thing is, I mean, I guess use it while you can, right? Until it breaks. And then you just kind of throw it in your back pocket for a few days till you get around to fixing it. But I would not use it as my primary. I would use the insect axe before as my primary before I use the... Because the insect axe is at least going to hold up. And it has a chance to stun. All right. So I don't know that I've actually found any of the new scabbies. Because the one on top of the laser is not new. It was there before. Because it always bothered me. I could never figure out exactly where, how to get up on the laser. I knew it had to be up there. Because every time I went past that laser, it would go off. So that's not a new one. Yeah, it's definitely not Haven. But you'd never go hungry. Just where are the aphids going to go? <laughs> I mean, you got aphids and weevils. And look at all the aphid honeydew, all the aphid poop on the island. We could call it aphid poop island. Yeah, so between the gnats, the aphids, and the weevils, those are all edible. So... And at nighttime, all the gnats go over to the lights anyway. All right, I guess we got to swim and see if those beetles are over here. What are you doing down there? Can't get up. Oh, got a little short legs. Oh, so sorry. Oh, you're so angry. All right, let's see if these bombardier beetles are over here. Not that I'm going to fight them at night. I'm not stupid. But I doubt very much that they're actually over here. They are not. They are not here. What kind of foodstuffs do we have? Anything? Nothing. So the kids haven't thrown anything over the fence. I swear, neighbor kids throwing crap over my fence? Oh, I'd beat their asses. <laughs> we'll even look in the tunnel. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Game is uh, broken. All right. Since it's late at night, oh, these stupid mites. We'll just camp over here for the night. You totally wouldn't see this place. I do want to build a better place here. I think I may just do a build series for Grounded. In survival mode, of course. I mean, I, I don't know, I'm not talking epic builds like the, the Oak Tree Castle. Just like pick a different cool locations like up in here and, and build a nice base in the hedge. Uh, is there grub meat? I think there might be. There's grub goop. Well, here, let's look. We can check over here. Craft resources. 
I can't sort this, but we can scroll down. There's grub hide, grub goop. Maybe not. There, uh, I guess there's no just grub meat. Raw nap meat, raw weevil meat. Ah, oh, there it is, raw grub meat. So yes, grubs are cookable as well. All right, let us hit the lean-to, as it were. I am sweet beef. No joke. All right, um, so yeah, it is a fresh new day. Speaking of new day, let's go ahead and collect those. Did you see that mushroom pop up as I picked it? <laughs> see, look, I got my five mushrooms from a four mushroom spot because it's first thing in the morning. All right, so uh, let's go into our inventory and eat our... God, it all got shuffled around. There it is, nap meat. It has been so quiet over here since I killed the brood mother. I mean, ridiculously quiet. Looks like we need to refill our canteen, though. I had no idea that if you killed the brood mother, all the orb weavers went away. I mean, there's a few spiderlings, maybe an orb weaver up on a branch every few days or something like that. All I got is juice, just raining down. It's it's raining juice. But uh, yeah, it's weird. There's no spiders under here. <laughs> it happened about the same time that I, I, I built the base. So, I don't know. So many things I don't know. All right, let's go, I don't know, look for a bird feather. I guess that's what we're going to do this morning. Since we're over here at the bird bath, Give us a chance to uh, ride up on the elevator. Since you can't build them reliably, reliably right now. And I found that it's not just the... I think something happened with the snapping. I don't think that they actually did anything to the bounce webs. I don't think they went, no, 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 we don't want people building elevators. I don't think that happened. I think they, something went wrong with snap. Because... I was trying to snap a jerky rack into the pond house the other day and it wouldn't go. It wouldn't snap either. So I don't think that they were like being malicious about the, uh, the bounce webs is my point. All right. So we'll wander over here and look in the branches over here. I'm not seeing one, but we can come up here, look on the upper bird bath. Not seeing one there either. And wouldn't that freak you out if he landed here right now? Just freak me out. So now we gotta go look down below. Oh, I see one! Haha! <laughs> On my new deck. See, it worked perfectly. It caught the feather. See, look at that. Boom. This was a great idea, I think. Never have to worry about losing another feather to the water. Even though a feather should float too, just like berries. They probably didn't think of that though. They forgot to check the box is floatable. All right, so Rash Island. I like it. It's going to be a bitch to build there, though. Like I said, you could, I mean, and it's not like you don't have it. Look at this. This grass still hasn't grown back. 
How long has it been since we built the uh, built the elevator? I built the pond house. That took me 10 in-game days between streams to build that place. And none of this grass has grown back. It doesn't be broken. It's broke did. Like my bank account, it's broke. <laughs> All right, let's go see if uh, the bombardier beetles have shown back up. And you know, eventually we're going to have to build like an elevator or something to get up to this other lab up here. So maybe we'll just kill off all the orb weavers and all that stuff and we'll build something over here that we can get up there with. Hey, look, our beetle buddies are back. It's beetle buddies. Oh, look at them. They're like, like smooching or something. Are you guys smooching? What do I have? I, oh, I got some gas arrows. Let's do that. Let's park it right there that's not working very well is it I might as well burn through these huh what else are we gonna use them for oh well, it killed the weevil What's up, Barbarian? So now I'm not getting any music? Really? That's how this rolls now? Well, that's three of five. You gonna hide back there? Come on, stick your head out. No, no threat music? No nothing? Oh, there it is. All right. Wow, getting a little freaky over here in the morning. Gas arrow is still effective, just a kind of not something that you strive for anymore, I guess. Really? Come on, I hit him. Where is he? Is he stuck in his own web? Oh, that's hilarious. You know, with the cap and uh, sharpshooter, this is like almost ridiculous. I, oh, I better shut up. No, you didn't hear me, Obsidian. Leave it alone. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Barbarian King, how are we doing tonight? All right, so we need to line up. Oh, I guess there's some tier two weeds right on the other side of the fence. So it's right here. And we don't have to go high. That's the thing. Oh, we could prop. No, you can't do it from a rock. It is right here, though. It's that marker. It's that spot right there that we want to get to. Question is, is... What do we want to do to get to it? Elevator, perhaps? Think it would work? Think I can make it work. That's the question. And hell, we probably don't even need to go very high. I mean, obviously we don't need to go too terribly high. 
I think that's going to be close enough. Yeah, so we need to do one more bounce up. And then we could go from there. Right? And so then we would just... Oh, that's the wrong button. Sweet Lord. And we just put that up there. And then come over here, grab this, and we may just have to do this. Well, see, it needs to be flat. Because that's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, boink, hit you right into the wall. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. What can we do? Maybe um, a clay block. Will that go down anymore? No. It'll go there. But actually, that's a, that works fine, too. Okay, so if we have a clay block there. And then I could manually place this thing. Trust me, I've placed enough of... Now, the problem is that we're not going to be able to walk onto it. Well, we could, I suppose. Should be fine. Oh, get up here. Because as soon as I hit the snap, it goes way janky. Stupid. Fix the snap. So that would go there. And then we'd put another one up there. So now we just need some weed stems, some clay. And I have all the rubber, so we could... There. All right. Is that right? That's close enough. We just have to make sure that the one above it is at the same kind of angle. See, we can get some clay over here. So we just need a shovel. There's plenty of clay over here. Die, not die. All right, let's keep going. All right, uh, the big question is, is where is my shovel? Which house is it in? Ah, stupid mite. So I guess we'll start here at the oak tree. <laughs> Thank you, Otto. Appreciate it. All right. Do I have a shovel here? That's the question. No, but I do have two gas sacks. That's nice to know. Hey, I have a shovel. Oh, and look, my inventory is like way full, huh? Let's uh, cl click up in here. Let's uh, clean some of this out, huh? Guess we don't need to be carrying around all this quartzite with us. Um, get rid of that and that and that and that. We do actually need to make some smoothies, so maybe we'll grab that bag. We'll grab our shovel. Uh, that can go away. Put that over there. Rearrange all this stuff. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Just put my stuff back where it was. I mean, seriously. Dandelion's almost dead. Torch is almost dead. 
That's all right, though. There we go. All right, so uh, we have our have our shovel. Um, but I'm gonna, now we have to run to the other house and get the rubber and pick up another dandelion tuft. You just run through there and tap E a bunch of times, and all of a sudden you're full of everything. I'm seeing a lot of aphids today. Good to see the ants back out, right? All right, rubber. Um, where would I have put the rubber? That's the question. Over here in the special box? No. Where? What? Where? What? 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 Where? What? Oh. 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 Looks like I need to make more rubber. Sap acid glands. Hmm. I don't think I have any of that. No, I don't have any acid glands whatsoever. I certainly don't have any sap. I'm just gonna sit here and tap on my space bar, grab my vape. And I don't even need this many, but I might as well make it. Okay, maybe I'll just make 30. There we go. We made 30 rubber. Now we can put all this crap back. Uh, it's a uh, French pipe tobacco. It's very mild. I enjoy it. I had one that, that, that I used for a long time, and they slightly twisted the recipe, and I didn't care for it very much. Of course, I've been vaping so long that I've done all of the, the sweet flavors and all that stuff, and uh, I don't care for any of that anymore. All right, so we have the rubber. Uh, let's make sure that we have everything that we need. Yeah, sprigs. That's all we need is sprigs. Which we probably have, I don't know, 20 here? So maybe not. But anyway, we're only building two of these things. <laughs> I only needed to make four rubber. But uh, oh, I needed to grab another dandelion tuft anyway. Oh, I moved the box. That's right. Oh, I should grab another torch, too. And we'll just get rid of the old ones.
I don't start up, Frank. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. It wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. Fight the urge. Because while a vape is infinitely better than all the carcinogens that you inhale with a cigarette. Absolutely. When, when I went from cigarettes to a vape in 2009, in a week and a half, well, two weeks, I could run a mile without being absolutely winded for the first time since high school. So it, uh, it, it, it's infinitely better than smoking. But if you're not doing the smoking, don't pick up vaping. The first vape I ever bought was $130 and was absolute crap. It did nothing for me. And um, so I went online, of course, to figure out, all right, how do I make this thing better? What do I need to do? And it turns out it was just a piece of crap. <laughs> uh, but I found a wonderful site that um, where I could uh, talk to them and stuff like that. And it was just, it was two local women and um, they didn't sell anything in their little store that they hadn't personally used and tried and all that stuff. So I was able to ask them a bunch of questions and I told them which unit I had bought. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, don't buy any of that stuff that you like as seen on TV or anything like that. Don't do that. I forgot to re-equip that uh, dandelion there. And um, so I bought a starter pack from them for $35. And that included a couple different flavors of juice. The bottles weren't huge, but it was a start. 35 bucks. And um, I got it in. I had it shipped to uh, my office. And it came in and I charged the battery. So it was about 11 o'clock. Battery was charged. And about my 1030 smoke break was the last time I had a cigarette. I had three cigarettes left in my pack. And after a year, I finally threw that pack away. Well, no, I mean, it, it is. But it, it, I mean, why do you want to do it? If, if you're looking for the nicotine, I, I it's just... I've done a lot of research. I spent almost a year researching electronic cigarettes or e-cigs back then. Now they're all just called vapes, but uh, it was almost a year that I was looking, trying to figure out, okay, is this, am I just swapping one thing for another? Basically at the time, I wasn't even thinking about it, like quitting. It was the simple fact that cigarettes were getting so damn expensive. I didn't want to pay the outrageous amount of money that I was paying every month for cigarettes. So that's why I was looking into vaping, but I didn't want, I was of course worried, is this going to be worse for me than, than cigarettes are? And so that was my first question. So I was looking into it and stuff like that, but I learned a lot about nicotine. Um, I learned a lot about tobacco. And uh, come to find out that nicotine in and of itself in a pure form. Now, you wouldn't want to take pure nicotine. It would, it would mess you up just because it's such a harsh chemical raw. But without any additives is my point. Nicotine has the same addiction chain that caffeine does, which is 72 hours, which means that if you were just taking in nicotine and decided to quit, Within 72 hours, you'd be done. You wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. Now, of course, there's psychological things and all that stuff, but the nicotine itself, out of your system, 72 hours. Now, the tobacco companies put uh, MAO inhibitors in their, uh, with their tobacco, in their cigarettes. 
And what that does is that it enhances the nicotine and increases that addiction chain. So now instead of 72 hours, it's much longer because they want you hooked. So uh, the, the, the big thing was, is I wanted something that if I was going to have any nicotine, it would just be more of a pure nicotine. I didn't want all the MAO inhibitors. I didn't want all the extra garbage that came in cigarettes. And so the first vapes that I, the first juices that I bought were um, like it was food flavorings, not food flavorings. It wasn't like I was eating a hamburger or something like that or taco seasoning, <laughs> uh, but it was all food grade stuff and um, and nicotine. I'm currently smoking or vaping. Stick with that. I'm a cigarette smoker, and if I weren't, I would be a far better. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, and I quit when cigarettes were like four fifty a pack, <laughs> but I was paying almost fifty bucks every week and a half because I was buying them by the carton. Here's the beautiful thing of using the, the uh, corner pieces here. One stem weed per thing. All right, um, it's getting a little dark, but uh, I think we have enough time to uh, pull out ye old shovel, gather up some clay. Yes, it's better to have be doing nothing being sucked into your lungs. But the exhaust, the exhaust, uh, what you get from an e-cigarette is water vapor. It was funny, I had a, a, a boss that... Um, he was like, he, he just like, ah, vaping. Ah. And, um, and he got into my car and he goes, oh, you don't vape in your car, huh? I said, why would you say that? And he goes, well, I don't smell anything. I said, you wouldn't. I said, I vape in my house. I vape in my car and uh, hell, I can vape in my office. You wouldn't know. And he goes, oh, I'd know. I said, really? What do you smell in my car? You smell the lovely leather smell. <laughs> That is, that is my upholstery. That is all you are smelling, so. Alright, so we got that one done. Let's go ahead and grab this last weed stem. Oh, nailed the landing. But it is getting a bit dark. Yeah, but that is one of the nice things about vaping, is that it doesn't smell like cigarettes. So, I think we just need to grab one more stack of... Uh, of weed stems when we come over here in the morning. Yeah, see, the street lights are coming on. It's time to go home. But I also don't trust local vape shops either. <laughs> I mean, these guys are literally like renting the spots in, in mini malls and mixing in the back room. No, 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 no. <laughs> All my stuff is actually made in a laboratory. It's a clean room. Yeah. Yeah, seven bucks a pack, spending $200 a month to coat my lungs with tar. $2,400 a year just so I can smell like an ashtray. Yay. Now, that, that's absolutely true, Otto. And that's one thing that I certainly do not miss. All right, nap meets. That tastes really good. 
Get a little sippy sip going on. Let's get rid of the spider stuff that we have in here again. I get rid of that and that and that. Um, I think we're done with the clay, so we might as well just drop that in there. All right. We're ready for another day on the job. I don't even think we need all of these, but we'll pick them up anyway. So those of you that caught my stream on Tuesday, what did you think of Night of the Dead? I am doing a playthrough series on it, one day at a time. Oh, that's what I should have called the series. Damn it. <laughs> that's like inspired right there. Damn it. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, so it's going to be a bit longer form because each day in the game uh, is two hours in real life, so. Matter of fact, the first episode of that series uh, comes out. I guess that's all I need to cut down. I don't need much. It uh, comes out uh, tomorrow. I have to upload it tonight. All right. All right, time to go first person. Oops. Got it. Yeah, and it's kind of like a, like I was thinking it was more like a State of Decay 2 in the fact that if you wanted to you know, rush through it and get all seven clues and, and get all the parts. You could knock it out in, I don't know, four or five days, I suppose, running across the map, crisscrossing to all the different locations. Or you could kind of, like how I'm going to do it, I'm going to be, I'm building up my base, you know, and every couple of days I'll, I'll go get a different clue and then head back to base and, you know, build up some more. All right. So remember, we still need the flat end over here. The problem is, is with the snapping, it used to line up perfectly and you never had to worry about it. That should be right, right there. Let's find out. Yep. Works like a charm. Bam. All right, now let's see if I can build... Oh, absolutely, Otto. I mean, it, it, there are some times that I'm like, man, this feels just like State of Decay. And and I that's not a bad thing. Um, Actually, we may be fine just with that one. We, oops, wrong button. You don't even need that one. I think that's right. So then we'll put a... Um, We'll grab a floor piece and it's going to snap right there. That was the wrong button. All right. So I need uh, two grass planks and a weed stem. Ah, yes, we were successful. Uh-oh. First, let's put one here. Let me go out this way.
Well, that works too. That should get us there. I okay, don't need that one. Well, you could almost jump there, so let's grab a few more grass planks. We should be good to go. All right, probably need more than four, but that's what I have cut down right now. Plus the one over here for five. Yeah, I forgot to put in the other uh, concrete or. Uh, there we go. Close enough. What is going on, Hawk? Wouldn't that be crazy if this door was unlocked and they just didn't tell anybody? Oh my God. Because there's been no videos of it being open, you know, but we're like, hey, the script. We're, we're setting ourselves up for the future and then boom, open the door. Now we can kind of take a peek inside if we go into first person and maybe it's third person. No, I guess they fixed that. I used to kind of get a peek inside. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's just this one little room here, but that looks like a, uh, like a berry with teeth. It's kind of disturbing. How you doing, Hawk? Here. Wax a hat, you treating you well? How you loving this weather? Oh my God, it was gorgeous today. All right. So this is ready. As janky it is, well, I'm going to finish. Damn it. Didn't get to the shift key in time. I do want to finish it so that it is um, all the way up there. You guys know me. I'm not going to do some half-assed build. Not like some YouTubers out there. I take pride in my work, damn it. <laughs> Whoops. It's leaning a little bit too far forward there. Just uh, four more. Here's the thing that kills me. Okay. Anyone that doesn't know that a single blade of grass will give you three planks every time. Every time. Look at this. One, two, three. Yet I watched a YouTuber the other day go, huh. Huh. Did I, did, did I get some perk or something like that? I'm getting more grass when I cut some of these down. I literally was screaming at my monitor. You guys cannot see the look on my face. It is a pure disdain. Here's a guy with 90,000 subscribers that doesn't understand how the grass works and grounded. Come on. Oh, did I hose myself? I did. <laughs> yep, that would be a problem. Yeah. Yep. I don't even think we hit 80 today. At least not right here. It was wonderful. I had my windows open in my office. It was nice. All right. Let's see how I can tear this thing apart. And actually, I really hosed myself because I put a full panel up there. So I can't even, I can't even climb the scaffold. I'm so screwed. Oh, see, now it works.
Oh, this might be a good thing for the dagger. Why is it my stamina is not returning? How funny. Oh, got it. All right. So let's not make that mistake again. That might work too. Shit, I don't know. It looks really weird. I don't know why that would snap like that, but. Oh, I know it was just a tease. Hell, I never go outside anyway. Why? Outside is weird. Yeah, we don't really don't want it there because that will mess us up. But honestly, let's see if we can make the jump from here. That's perfectly acceptable to me. Get rid of that piece. Said so we just need the four more planks. Now we are ready for future content. <laughs> They're like, there's a mysterious base hidden somewhere on the map. I'm like, ah, the rocks go to the rocks. Go to the wall. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, still no bombardier beetles. We have weevils. So, what are we going to do? Welcome, everybody. I looked up, realized I got nine concurrent viewers. Welcome, everybody. We uh, built a little elevator as janky as it is because they screwed up the snapping on certain objects, uh, namely the jerky rack and the bounce web. Or those are two of the things that I can think of off the top of my head. So, we built a makeshift elevator that will get us up uh, to that lab door uh, whenever that becomes available. Humid. Humid in Texas. You know, humid is actually a Texan word. We just allow other people to use it. <laughs> that word originated here in Texas. All right. I haven't seen any ladybugs in a couple days either. Then again, I haven't been looking for them. Guess we can go out, look on by the pond. Yeah, no, it's uh, very humid because we get all the moisture from the Gulf Coast. So it's a wet, wet, wet moisture. And then, of course, we're getting desert heat on the west side. Yeah, here it gets to 103, and then you tack on about another 10 degrees, which is called, what do they call it, the real temp, and I'm doing the air quotes there, uh, about another 10 degrees for humidity. It's just fabulous. I mean, we had hot days out in San Diego for sure, especially up in the mountains where I where I live. But it was three percent, four percent humidity. I always miss that last jump because I jumped too far. All right, so we are making our way over to the pond house here. Let's 
You like humidity, you sick bastard. I don't like getting out of the shower, drying off, and then going, did I just dry off? <laughs> that 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 is, does not appeal to me at all. But yet I live here. All right, so here we are at the pond house. And this is my lag killer here. Yeah, see, I couldn't get either one of these jerky racks to like snap to any of these floor pieces. It was doing really weird stuff. So I, I don't think they specifically did something to the bounce webs. I think they did. They messed up something with snapping. I think that's the problem. And I, we don't actually need anything here. Why did I come over here? I think because I was looking for ladybugs. That's why. Oh, wait, I don't want to set that as my spawn point. Ah, oh, they needed to fix that third camera crap, too. I don't want to see the inside of Ali Hoops's head. Oh, we've had snow down here. On Easter. I didn't go very far, did I? All right, I want everyone who's been here a while, think back. Have we seen or heard a ladybug at all during the stream? I don't think we have. Oh, it's way beta. This is very, very early access. They are planning monthly content updates for the next year so yeah this game is nowhere near being released i mean it's out early access but um but yeah no this is not the complete game because literally it takes you about 35 minutes and if, if you could do it in much less but if you're just kind of, you know, bouncing around, analyzing stuff, stopping, doing this, doing that really quick, 35 minutes and you're done with the actual story mode right now. So it's not, yeah. Every month. Yep. So uh, August 26th, they just released this big content update. Granted, there wasn't a lot to it. I think they wanted to add more, but uh, they ran into some technical difficulties. So they just uh, didn't add that part in. They went with a different build, so. That's stupid. That, wow. Yep, no. Nope, 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 okay. I guess we'll wander back this way, look for ladybugs. We have stink bugs. And for everyone watching, this is not a big cassette tape. Well, it is a big cassette tape. This is a big Walkman. <laughs> it's more than just the tape. How am I thirsty? Oh, I guess it is towards the end of the day. No ladybugs. I imagine that that thing is going to get a makeover like the outlet did. Where they're going to add some more definition to it and stuff like that. Right now, I think that's just a placeholder piece. Not hearing any cooing or any angry chasing aphid noises. I haven't all night. Are ladybugs dead on my map too? Do I need to? Oh no, I can't make a bunch of bombs. 
Do I need to make some more bombs and just wipe out all the ants? I mean, call me Raid, but... <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hell, if you're under 30. <laughs> What is going on over here? You guys weren't supposed to be doing this anymore. One of you just take it and go. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, that might never stood a chance, did he? I'm gonna come back here and look underneath the house. Sometimes uh, there's a ladybug or two that hide underneath the porch. And I am thirsty, so let's grab the old ye old canteen. See if we can't find one more ladybug. Hell, while we're over here, we can see if the the bombardier beetle spawned over here. Oh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. No. No beetle. Not even a beetle Bailey. But there is our access. <laughs> it's right there. There's our access to the porch. Hi, Jude. Yeah, that is a little plank of grass that we stuck into the side of the porch because it would go. And you literally have to hopscotch along the grass to, and stand on the end of a grass uh, blade and then jump onto that and then you can get up on the porch. That's how we did it, Frank. Well, I think you watched the, the replay, so. Oops, we are in the haze. Run, girl, run. And that's how we get up on the porch. Now we'll skip. And to think we thought it was so hard. But you know, the only place that I'm getting notification for a scabby right now is on top of the outlet. I think I've gotten them all, but I don't think I did. Because if we come in here and we look. All right. I don't even know why I'm on Might Rider. Ugh. So you get these four as your default, right? So then you have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. I have twenty one. See, you have twenty two. I was up till 3.30 this morning. I don't know why. I, I do know why I couldn't sleep. <laughs> why are those lower? That's funny.
So if you guys missed it the other day, I actually electrocuted myself on this box. All right, Hawk. Have a great night, buddy. Yeah, don't try climbing the outlet. <laughs> Cause it'll hurt. No, I'm not going to do it again. Including the starter 24. Okay. I actually have including the, the starter four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 total. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Oh my God. I laughed hard. Because I thought it was funny that you could jump up and then like, where is it? Oh, there it is. You could stand here. There's some crazy hitbox. And I was like, what? So I saw if I could jump up there. And yeah, it electrocuted me. <laughs> Keep falling off. Why are you falling off, Frank? That's another one where you just got to jump on the grass and then uh, get onto the handle. I thought you already got that one, though. Is it night? Oh, it is nighttime. Perfect. See, I planned that just right, didn't I? Oh yeah, 12.03 or 20.03. All right, another day in Grounded. What is this? How many days are we? Save. 144 days. Hydration is the key to performance. Oh, I hear our bird friend. Let's see if we can't find another feather. God, he is ridiculously huge. So build a tower to get up there, Frank. That way you won't fall off. Ah. If you guys haven't seen the bird in the game up close, see if I can get over there before he takes off. What is going on, Stu? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, here's the bird up close. Now let's show you. I mean, you can see. <laughs> Yeah, he, he wouldn't even consider us a snack. See, look at the bird compared to us. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
Wow, that's terrifying. Oh, you are welcome, buddy. Oh, oh, he almost crushed us. And there he goes. Like a fart in the wind. Any feathers? Sometimes he can drop a feather over here in these branches. I'm not seeing one down in the water. It doesn't mean there's not one down there though. Nope, not one down here. <laughs> oh, poor Otto. All right, so there's a second laser one, huh? A new one. Let's go screw around with that. Because the bombardier beetles won't respawn for at least another day. Mm. Now, now, how did we cook this corn on the cob, Jude? That's the question. How was it prepared? Is this the larva that's underwater again? All right, heading for the laser. The laser. Just want freaking lasers. All right, so you're saying that there is one on this laser. Such an annoying little pest. Uh, what? Oh, the grass pushed me out of the way. That's garbage. Come here, you little turd. That's the same thing. Because I, this is the one nearest the pond. And it's maybe equidistant. So anyway, we're on this one. My scabby is still not going off. Come on, get out of the way. Really? Hiya! Oh, going for the distance. Yeah, my scabby's not doing nothing. Now it is. 
God, how do you get to this one? I, I, uh, what? I got, I got, I got, I don't know. Tried to find a pay fund to call for help. Turns out there's uh, no pay funds anymore. That's not true. They just charge you 75 cents for five minutes to any continental U.S. number. <laughs> No, 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 Jude. No. No. If you made corn on the cob with all of that stuff, it's not on the cob anymore. <laughs> now, now, don't get me wrong. Love me some red onion. Love cheese, avocado. Mm, I'm an avocado boy. Tomato, uh, you got to be careful with tomatoes. Yeah, you can't have too many tomatoes. Kale, I'm okay. Roasted garlic, absolutely. Black pepper, yeah. Some black olives, cheese. Yeah, cheese twice. Notice she said cheese twice. Sausage brought things. All right. That sounds all good, but I want to know how you prepared the corn on the cob. That's what I want to know. How was it made? All right. So how can we do this? Can you jump over there? Certainly can't climb this anymore. <laughs> what the heck is a payphone? Yeah, you lie, Stu. Like a cheap rug. Mmm, tasty. So you boiled it. Okay. That's, uh, you boiled it. I, that's fine. I, I enjoy boiled corn on the cob. But I love... <laughs> love... When I cook it on the grill, leave the husks on and you soak it in water and you wrap them in aluminum foil and you put them on the grill and you get a little bit of char on some of the kernels. Oh, that is frigging to die. But you have to soak the husks really good. Otherwise the corn dries out. So where I, I, uh, Oh, that sucks. That's no good. That's no bueno. Not even tuckle. See, and you can't jump on the handle like the other one. How do you get up on this thing? What's going on, T-Bone? Trying to figure out where this, uh, this other scabby is. And of course, if we use the debug camera, it's not going to show us. At least I don't think it will. It's not up here or, or the debug camera is not showing it. Then if we follow the wire up like we did on the other laser, that's how we got up here. It may be up here. Can you walk up that wire? Oh, I think you can. But again, because it's out actually out of our bubble, it's not going to show. So. I have no idea how we get up here. Cut your Vegas working. Nice. Um. 
honestly i i don't know t-bone now as far as like settings for like uploading to youtube and stuff like that just search best you are best sony vegas settings for youtube 2020 and um and they'll get you dialed in because it really depends on your graphics card whether you're using nvenc or some other encoder uh i've just been using it i've just been using non-linear editing software for so long and I've been using Vegas for years. I started with like Vegas 11. And um, and before that, I was using Adobe Premiere. So it, it was very natural. So honestly, I have no idea as far as tutorials go, um, who to look up, who would be good. Yeah, it's a shame. Oh, look, we can see inside the machine. Ooh. I'm a ghost in the machine. Is that it? That's it right there. Found it. Well, I know where it is. <laughs> Look at that. I actually found the scabby. Now the question is, is getting up there to get it. So we're going to take a look at what it would take to get up here. You can't climb the wire anymore. You can't jump up. You can't jump onto this handle. There is nothing around that is going to give you the leverage that you need, the distance. And, and you know what? There are there are probably honestly, I would do a search, uh, search for Sony Vegas, whatever version you have, on on uh, YouTube, and start scrolling through and see whose name pops up. If they have a lot of tutorials, then most likely, uh, they're going to be covering all the bases that you want. You have to build ramps. to get to the handle. Wow. Oh, that's the picture you shared with me, Frank. Okay, I got it. Um But yeah, that is the um what I would do is I would find someone that has like a huge playlist of Sony Vegas tutorials. And honestly, you may find someone that has fewer tutorials but you like their their teaching style better. And uh, that may be what you need to do. So that that's my best suggestion for that. All right. So you're saying get onto the handle because you can't get from this base. Let's get back on here again. You can't go from this base over to the handle. You can't make that. And you certainly can't get up top. You have to be on the handle. You're welcome, T-Bone. Okay, so let's think about this as best we can. Could we climb onto this weed? If we can get onto this weed here, then we could build off of this. We could build just a ramp. It might be a little bit low, but we could go up from there. So that's the weed we need to look for. The taller weed. Oh, from ground to handle. Oof. All right, so there's the weed that we want. Let's see if we can't climb this thing. I mean, we we have a little bit of experience uh, climbing leaves and perfect. This is one that we're, where we wanted to be. Now the question is, is, can we build up here? Nope, not gonna let us build. Nope, bastards. You went from the ground, God. All right, let's get out of build mode. Thank you. Oh, 
want to welcome all the viewers. Welcome everybody. Maybe let's do like a scaffold. No, it was worth a shot. Come on. I had to try. And you built from the ground. That's insane. You shouldn't have to do all that building to get that freaking scabby. That's garbage. That's not very nice of them. You hear me, Obsidian? So the scaffold won't work. Um, what else could we try? Well, I imagine a wall's not going to work either. What else can we build from? Um, ch -ch -ch. I mean, that's like the perfect height right there. We could just bam. I want to welcome the new viewers. Welcome everybody to the stream. We are trying to figure out how to get this scabby. I'm way in the top of a, of a weed and I'm trying really hard not to have to build from the ground just to get a scabby. But I'm not being very successful with that. This is probably one of the taller weeds that you can climb though. Took about eight to 10 clover roof pieces was really quick build. Yeah, but you gotta clear the way, don't you? I mean, you gotta cut down all the grass just to get there. My problem is, is uh, I'll screw up the angle <laughs> and be short by about four feet and have to tear the whole damn thing down. All right, fine. I'm just going to deforest the whole yard. They're going to look out back one day and go, what the hell happened to the yard? There won't be any grass left. Thinking starting about here. All right. So now I need to go cut down like every clover. Luckily, there's quite a bit over here. Don't get all bouncy with me, you bastard. Uh, the elevator? That's actually not a bad idea. Uh, the, the problem is, is that uh, as uh, we experienced over next to the wall, they uh, they screwed up the uh actually that's not a bad idea it'd probably end up taking less less weed stems so we'd have to build it like right here it'd have to go right there Build.
There's kind of a, a series of elevators throughout the yard. That's it. Right, that's the right height. That looks about right. Well, they are making zip lines. If it, if that's any consolation, I gotta find some dandelion. Certainly have enough grass plank for it, but I just need dandelion or any tier two weed. Really? Oh, look, here's one. This one's gonna give me four. Watch. A grappling hook would be fantastic, though. I probably got rid of the rubber, didn't I? Oh no, I still got it. Excellent. All right, come here. And we'll take both of you as well. Oh, that's going to be a problem. This one's going to be a problem. That one might be a problem. All right, guys, uh, give me just a second here. Um, I got two, uh, my landlord sending me a text message. So hold on just a second. Welcome to the top four absolutely awesome base building locations in Grounded. I am Draco Invictus, and I am going to take you on a tour of what I feel is the four best base locations in the game. Because if you only set up one base, you end up doing quite a bit of running to get around the map. So while it might take a little bit more work, this guide is designed to make sure you are only right around the corner from a base to drop off your plunder, refill those depleted hunger and thirst meters, have a closer spawn point in case you meet your untimely demise, or just rest for the night. I don't think that there is a single best location to set up your base of operations in the game, as we are all over the map, literally. As the game unfolds and more areas are opened up to explore, I will be making updates to this video. So if this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe and smash that bell notification icon so that you get notified the next time I post a video. My channel is devoted to helping you get the most out of the game. If you're interested in showing me some support for the channel and want to help out financially, I do have a Patreon page set up with some pretty cool perks. If you don't want to do a monthly subscription but still want to pitch in, check out the link to my coffee.com account where you can make a one-time donation. Links for both are in the description below. Even if you don't want to or can't support the channel financially, tap that thumbs up button below the video and show me some love that way. It is all very much appreciated. I'll be putting timestamps in the description for each of the location areas as well, as well as other videos that may help you get the most out of Grounded. So let's get to it. 
Alright, so these locations aren't listed from best to worst or even worst to best. I listed these locations based on what you'll need as the game unfolds. So first on our list is the baseball. You discover the baseball at the very start of the game, and this location is actually very centrally located in the yard. As you can see from this overhead shot, the baseball is just to the left of center in the yard and might very well become your hub to branch out to other locations. The baseball has a natural entrance via the stick, but unless you want to walk a tightrope in the dark uphill, you might want to create your own way to get onto the ball. As you can see from this build I did during my live stream, you can build quite the base on top of the ball, giving you a great vantage point to plan out your day's adventures. Let's get into some of the pros and cons of setting up your base here. For starters, it is a great starting location. You become very familiar with the area surrounding the baseball very early in the game, so it becomes very easy to navigate around. It's also close to an analyzer. Just a short walk down the path leads you to the first analyzer you should have discovered in the game. As you find more things to scan, having an analyzer close is very beneficial. You're also away from predators. Only having ground-based predators right now means being off the ground is where you want to be. You don't have to worry about walking out your door to meet a wolf spider directly. And ants won't steal from your chest. I've seen an ant steal from a chest that was two floors above it. So getting off the ground is also a fantastic benefit here. There are several dandelions and some tier two weeds in the area that'll help you get your place built. Now some of the cons are it's pretty far from Burgle and getting your daily quests. Running through the forest of grass day after day and Going all the way around the oak tree cuts out a bit of daylight that could otherwise be used actually completing quests. Going along with the first con, everywhere is a hike. If you're working on quests that take you over to the hedge or other corners of the map, it's quite the hike to return home with your plunder and oftentimes takes you right into patrol paths of nasty critters that want to ruin your day. So my final thoughts on the baseball, like I said at the beginning, this location could very well be your biggest base as it could become your hub as you move from location to location. Don't discount this great starting spot. Moving on to number two, the flower bed. The flower bed and this log in particular is the favorite of many players. It offers a lot of advantages and has you poised to be in the middle of action as new content rolls out involving the flowers and the pond. It also has a few drawbacks that we'll get to in just a little bit. Having a base anywhere in this location means you're ready to tackle the upcoming game update that should feature the bees and the roses, as well as the pond and what it's going to have to offer us. Be careful with this location though, as you'll have some grumpy neighbors that won't like you moving in. Some of the pros of the flower bed include you can elevate yourself well once you get on the log or any of the roots closer to the oak tree for that matter. You're close to Burgle and getting your daily quest will be easy. You're ready to take on the new content involving the flower bed and the pond. There are plenty of tier two weeds in the area to help you build up quickly. Some of the cons include orb weavers live along the flower bed wall and will be walking past during their patrols. The oak tree wolf spiders also like to come past during their daily walks. You're pretty far from other areas of the yard and it'll be quite the hike to get anywhere else. All right. Moving on to location number three, the hedge. Welcome to the hedge. This is an interesting area of the map because you're surrounded by some pretty nasty- I'm here. Yeah, ultimately my landlord just wanted to know if I had some paint in the garage. Huh. Sorry about that guys, but we're back. All right, Um. so what do I need next? I think I've cleared my path. Let's find out. Yep, should be good to go.
Come on, oh, there it is. Nope, not quite right, but should work. Damon, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Getting dark. Let's go ahead to the house. Oh, I get stuck. Everyone remember where we parked. I suppose I do have a, a torch and, and you know what? <laughs> I haven't noticed it, but uh, no wolf spiders anyone Let's go see if they have respawned Look at all the ants You guys don't want in there trust me. Oh, you're after some little aphid meat or something Come on, break it up. Break it up. Get out of there. Come on. Get out. Move out of the way. Give me that. I'll just take it. Let's see if they're in there. Are you in here? Oh, come on, little ant. Come out. Get out of there. You don't want to be in there. Come on. I'm going to shut the door. The ants are spawning the oak tree roots or the wolf spiders because I've closed all this off. We've, we've, we've closed off the oak tree. So when they respawn in here, they're stuck in here. All right, ant, you're out. You're done. All right, time for some sleepy time. A little low energy. Oh. Oh. I need to recharge. Trash that. We picked that up so the ants would stop fighting about it. There we go. Our axe is almost broken. Now that it's daylight, let's go take a peek in here. I'm not seeing them in there. There's one over there. I'm not going over there. <laughs> oh crap, I just closed myself in. <laughs> the stupid camera. There. Yeah, for those of you that missed it last stream, I actually put up walls at each of the exits <clears throat> for the oak tree for the wolf spiders. So uh, they can't get out.
Because I'm just a mean bastard like that. All right, heading back over to the laser. Oh, I see a dandelion here. Whack on that thing. Of course they are. Both of them? Oh, well. We'll take that one. Ah. Sure wish they hadn't screwed with these. I'm going to die. There we go. We're getting there. Oh, it absolutely is, Chaz, and it, which really bums me out because I make a video about it, and um, but it's I don't think they did it intentionally. That I was talking about that earlier. I think because they've screwed up snapping for sure because the jerky wrap that doesn't want to snap snap either. Wow, words are hard. Is that right? One, two, three. Yep. Yeah, so I think something happened with snapping is the problem. Yeah, not being able to snap them is, is a huge issue. Come on, get up there. Oh, ah. Oh, I had it. Larva? Oh, mites. This is ridiculous. Thanks, Chaz. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is stupid. I don't know why they had to jack with this. <laughs> there we go put that one in place come out here to the edge uh oh am I running low on Oh, rubber. 
Because I have to go get some from the house. All right. Birds here. I guess I should have brought that whole stack of 30 rubber that I made. Here, yep, there it is. And let's grab all of that. All of this just for a scabby. Yeah, I'm sure that they're going to fix the, uh, well, hello, little crow feather, well, large crow feather. I'm almost there. I had to go get more rubber. See, I put that one too far back. I shouldn't be able to land on it. There we go. Except now I need the grass. Shit. And I'm high enough. So actually all I need is the grass for that landing plank and then I could build another. So let's do that. I'm gonna put this. No. No, 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 no. Oh, all right, that works. Let's get back up here. There we go. Uh, that'll be good enough for now. Boom. Almost there. I'm just trying to get to the scab up at the top. <laughs> That's all I'm doing with this. This is just an ends to the means of getting a scabby. And as soon as I'm done, I'm going to rip out that bottom uh, scaffold and let it all come crumbling down. Oops, no, no, no. It might go away. Ah, oh, I probably could have made that if I had jumped better. But since I'm down here, might as well. Oh, 
Oh, saved by the trampoline. Did you guys see that? Oh, great. Now I have... No. Ah, there it is. Got it. All right. Boom. Oh, absolutely. I do ant armor all the time, but this was a, uh, I want to go get the scabby kind of a thing. And it wasn't really, uh, I'm, I'm building something to build something. Don't fall off now. Yeah. Otherwise I would have my ant armor on. And I'd probably be downing workers comp. Star she blows. Hyper blaster. Oh, I guess we can't climb that, huh? That's a bummer. This will come out here. There we go. All right, now let's take a look at hyper blaster. I can't climb up. I can't get up to that part. <laughs> well, when I'm doing some serious building, like, uh, well, especially when I was building the, uh, the pond house over there on the end and I needed a lot of, uh, weeds. So, I mean, it was like 10, 12 in game days. I harvested like all the weeds on this side of the yard and it was nothing but Ant armor and workers comp uh, smoothies when I could. All right, uh, let's see. OS, scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to see hyper blaster. Ooh, that's brutal. Oh, orange. Oh my God. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Oh, oh my God. No, 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 no. I'm just going to go back to my nice gunmetal gray. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> oh, it only went halfway. It happens. I want the rubber. And you know what's funny is that if we come over here and if we climbed up some grass, if we were able to get up some grass, that other part would actually come down, I think. And I guess I can't get into that crease. That would have been nice. Yeah. All right. I guess that's just going to live there then as a monument to floating towers. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I built an elevator over there, like right before the, uh, the update happened. So I'm so glad I got that one done. Yeah. I'm all about right tool for right job. That's for sure. All right. So I got that scabby. What is that? 26 now? I think that's all of them. Still can't find a ladybug. And it's been days. Hi, ladybug. You know what's funny is that <laughs> if you guys remember last stream, 
We spent like 20 minutes riding around on a ladybug. <laughs> and then we didn't get a shot in on her when uh, we, her and a wolf spider went at it. Uh-oh. Are you not hungry? No, no, no. I don't want you in there. Come on. Come over here. Ow, jumped right into that, didn't I? Just keep moving. I will say between the hat and sharpshooter. I've never been able to take down a ladybug that fast with arrows before. That is for sure. Well, especially when you get perks like sharpshooter, uh, we we now have the hat. I'm not even using the feather arrows, and those are supposed to be like a whole tier higher than regular arrows. They're just expensive with the the, the feather pieces now. But I'm at tier three sharpshooter, and here's here's a little uh, tip for you guys uh, that are paying attention. Wall gas arrows are not as good as they used to be because they're one time use only. If you can make them, make them. Really, make them. And then go to the anthill or someplace and weigh, lay waste to large numbers of ants. Two things are going to happen. One, it works for sharpshooter. Everything that dies from an arrow or because of an arrow helps with sharpshooter. Okay? That's how I got three stars. And it also helped with little fist because I don't know why <laughs> I, I don't punch that many things, but I ended up getting a little fist and, um, and I got it when I had a bow in my hand. So, um, and I was shooting gas arrows and ants. So that is how I got all of my mutations and, the, and one of the last ones was a little fist which is supposed to be one for punching and i got it using gas arrows so use gas arrows when you can sometimes what i will do is um we'll run around and kill all the stink bugs on the map and uh hopefully get uh you know six seven gas sacks that we can make gas arrows with and then uh go uh kill stuff with them <laughs> just like uh the bombs you know i uh i was able to harvest at one point i had like 26 ant eggs i think i still have like nine or ten and um and what did i do i went into the ant hill and i was blowing up ants with bombs that were made from their own eggs so i'm kind of a dick like that <laughs> but uh it is what it is i think building up on like up here would be fantastic you could build across these branches. That might be very, very cool. And you already have a marker up here. The question is, is can you actually do it? Yep, you sure can. So if someone wants to take that idea, you can certainly do that. I mean, you'd have to work at it, but. Yeah, we really need bridges. You know, I was watching a, a uh, one of the one of the obsidian videos that they'd put together for this game. And I was like, look at that. They have wooden plank bridges. I mean, and that's exactly what it looked like. They had railings. They had the sprig railing along the side. And it was like planks, not grass planks, but like wood planks. 
Like you'd taken the weed stems and turned them into planks. It was fantastic. Then I realized what it actually was. As a matter of fact, I will show you what it was because I have it built. I wish you could have a toggle hotkey. That would be wonderful. He's like, right now, I'd love to be wearing my spider helmet, right? So I'd get even better sprint speed. Screw the larva. Those things are disgusting. Yep, that is the, the absolute best. Well, I mean, if you saw my video, Chaz, you'd know. Aphid slippers with the, uh, with the spider head and shoulders is the best way to run. But the problem with the aphid slippers, they offer no defense. And they break really, really easily. I still have mine because that's how I ran for a long time. There it is. See wood planks, sprig rails. There's your bridge right there. Isn't that, I mean, it's just the, the palette, the stem palettes. But that would make a beautiful, gorgeous bridge. The problem is, is they don't snap like, like flooring does, which is a shame. Exactly, Chaz. And at that point, now that we have the sprig rail, you might as well just put down the grass planks. Just make sure they're pointing in the right direction so that they look kind of like, I'm going to shoot you, Nat. See, they have the gnats acting like bees. You notice that? Because the gnat is the proof of concept for every little flying thing in this game. So if you noticed, a lot of gnats live around the roses now. And I guarantee you when the bees are introduced, these gnats will all disappear because all they're going to do is change the actual skin on the gnat and turn it into the bee. They'll have the exact same kind of feel. They'll be picking up the nectar. They'll be picking up the pollen. They'll be doing the same thing that these gnats are doing right now. Because the gnats didn't used to do this. When the game first came out, the gnats weren't doing this. But now they are through the updates. They didn't say anything about it, but they did implement it so that when they're ready to put the bees in, it's simple as swapping out the skins for all the gnats that are programmed for this area. No, but I bet you that that is a, like one little tweak. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be pestering like the gnats are, but I, I guarantee you that they already have it worked out how to make the gnat act or how to make the bee act similar, but not be as pestery. Yeah, these guys are absolutely placeholders. Because now look, they've all gone away, and then we'll see a new group of gnats that come over here and hover around the light. Look at them all. Look at all of them there. There's just a ton of them right there. And they're all getting ready for that light to turn on. Can you tell I've spent way too much time thinking about this? <laughs> And this is no dev world. I'm not some 
I'm gonna shoot you, Nat. Don't think I won't do it. You guys think I'm kidding. Nah, he's too far away now. That one's not. Ah. I'm trying to shoot in the dark. Against a target that's dark. Yeah, that's smart. I'd be great if I shot one out of the sky, though. Look at all this juice. This is so funny. It is way out of control. I have two juice containers here that are full. I'll have four next to the juice box that's right there. Oh, I don't need to make a lean to. I got a whole base over here. Besides, I think my lean to is still over behind the, um, Behind the juice box, actually, from when I first came over here. Let's go ahead and set that spawn point. And then we'll eat some, uh, some lovely gnat meats. Mmm, tasty. What? A double gulp? What? That's crazy. How does that even work? Oh, I do need uh, some more, some more smoothies. Oh, inventory's full. There we go. All right. So we're gonna park all this. I do love the one key. Just put stuff away now, though. Fabulous. All right, Barbarian, have a great night. All right, Bombardier Beetles. I don't think they've respawned yet, but we will go check. For those of you that don't know, uh, my game is bugged and not in the way that we want it. Uh, my Bombardier Beetles that used to spawn in three different locations around the map are now spawning in one. That's the idea, Chaz. I bet you the bombardiers are back if this guy's back. Who are you howling at? I'm back here, dude. Loser. Oh, you posting? All right. Consider yourself dead. Uh, no, I had lag from one ginormous base, <laughs> but, um, but no, I, I don't notice the only lag I notice on this map and I, my bases aren't absolutely huge but they're definitely functional uh it's actually over by the anthill right now because it's there's still a problem with it i see beetles that's not fair Yeah, I think that there's a problem in here where they can't, uh, when they're aggroed, they can't pass through there. It's weird. All right. 
Time for more arrows. I hate dicking with beetles. Because they're kind of broke right now. Oh, you're gonna attack my tower, you dick. Stop attacking the tower. If you bring that down, I'm gonna be so mad. You know how long I worked on that? <gasps> you ass! Oh my god. You son of a bitch. <laughs> yes, that is the exact problem I have, Chaz. Ah, oh, that took me all of like 10 minutes to build, you bastards. I'm glad I killed both of you now. Matter of fact, if you had meat that I could eat, I would put it on the jerky rack that I would make with your parts. There is no quickly. There is no farming, Chaz. I mean, it, 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 I wanted to say that in your comment, but I thought, no, maybe I'll make a video. But ultimately, there is there is no shortcut. Here, here's the deal. If you want a lot of raw science, okay? I have almost 15,000, and I've bought everything from Burgle. And I, I've had everything from Burgle for quite a while which is why I've kind of backed off the quest. The daily quests are the best way to make raw science. It is the best way. And of course, okay, between you and me, the other 10 people aren't going to listen right now. Okay. Now, this isn't something that I do because obviously I stream. So you, you would see me logging in and out. But if you have a really good day, Let's say you get three killer quests that pay you like 1500 raw science. From what I understand, if you save the game and then simply go to load and load that save right back up, you'll make that 1500 again. So you could kind of cheese your way there, but it's a single player game. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. It's not a competitive game. I could care less. But for me, that just doesn't seem legit. So I wouldn't do it. But that's just me. I mean, I've made, you know, cheat and glitch videos before. So that is definitely a way to glitch up uh, more raw science uh, is uh, if that even still works. I heard about that like a month ago. So. Yeah, I have no idea. So I've never done it, but well, that's not okay. I. I've done it inadvertently. Let me put it to you that way. Meaning that uh, I was having some issue with the game. And so I said, ah, screw it. I'll just save and, and, I'll, re and I'll get out of the game and I'll reload it. And uh, when I came back in, I noticed that I had more raw science. And I was like, oh, look at that. But it was never anything intentional. Yeah, there's lots of ways. I mean, it, it, if you're looking for more raw science, go ahead and do that. But if you spend day after day after day after day building your base, well, yeah, you're not going to have a lot of raw science. Totally makes sense. But if you devote, hey, you know what? For the next seven in-game days, I'm just going to do quests. You're going to find yourself with, you know, five, six thousand raw science at the end of those seven days. I had it happen when Marcus joined me one time. So I didn't even have to load in. But he he brought with him the, the 500 raw signs that I had earned that day. Now I have to build this thing again. What a bunch of bastards. <laughs> I think that's the right spot. Let's look. And it's close enough.
Now, now there's a reason why we're building here, Chaz. There's actually a um, a a, um, a lab door up in the rocks. So the, yeah, there's a specific reason why we're building this at this location. You can't get in there yet, but it's there. And I probably put my shovel away, didn't I? Yep, I did. Over here? I mean, you'd have to build a massive bridge to get to it. See, there you can see it. And I'm standing in direct line of sight. So building a tower that's, and it doesn't even have to be that high. It's literally like one, two bounce pads or something like that. Yeah, it, it's not high at all. And actually, I am pretty well in line. Yeah, it's in the wall. I'm not trying to get to the top. I'm, I'm actually trying to get in the wall, so... And I've not done this in third person. I always do this in per, uh, first person. Hell, I may not even need any bounce. I've never tried it like this. <laughs> I may be able to, I mean, obviously it's going to be. Might as well take that one and take that one too. Ah. Ah, oh, come on, get up there. Really? I should just switch the first person. Nope, that didn't help either, did it? Yeah, that's definitely something to remember. Oh, now I went too far. <laughs> yeah, stupid. Get up there. Come on. Or fall down the other side. Yep. Dandelion tufts. That's the one thing I always forget. I think it's the weed stems. It's not me. It can't be me, right? I'm a master in gaming parkour. Come on. <laughs> I went too far. Shit. That's random. There we go. Oh, I had it. Yeah, the problem is, is I typically do two, 
but I can't see me because of the stinking weed stems. I can't see where my feet are. I normally almost always run in third person. Get, oh, ah. Uh. Can't. Don't, don't come over here and laugh at me. That's incredibly rude. I'm going to go kill your whole family. With your family. Because <laughs> I made bombs out of them. Yeah, that's wonderful. You know, just a couple of minutes ago, I was actually up there. Stupid beetles. They didn't even try coming after me. They're like, nope, we're going to bomb the shit out of your little tower right here, dude. Want to shoot us with arrows? Fine. Oh! I'm just tired of seeing freaking weed stems bouncing my face. Because with the 120 field of view, it really kind of gets crazy. What do you want? What? No, don't wave your antenna at me. Yep, I deserve that one. That didn't even make sense. All this because I had a Burgle quest. I think Burgle hates me too. All right, Jude. Yeah, I'm tired of watching me jump around. I get it. I'm tired of watching me jump around too. Thank you for stopping by, dear. I appreciate it as always. And actually, we didn't even need that one. Oh, I guess we did. No, this one would have been tall enough to get over there. So if we build off of there, there we go. I don't need these anymore. Hey, yeah. I get to do all that again with grass plank.
At least grass planks aren't as tall. It's not as obtrusive on my screen. Great. Now here comes an orb weaver just to jack with me. What? It doesn't even make sense. I'm just trying to see my feet. Now I can't jump that high, really. Apparently it's true, you do have to look up to jump higher. Made it. Bam. Now if only I didn't have to carry a bunch more planks up here. Actually, I don't. Screw it. I do need to finish that thing off though eventually, but I'm just going to bug out of here. No one will bother it if I'm not here. So what am I picking all this up for? It's all going to despawn here in a couple days anyway. All right. I'm waiting for the sprinklers to come on. I am so waiting for like catastrophic destruction of bases. I just, I mean, come on. This is supposed to be a survival game. I don't know. Maybe I've been playing a little bit too much Night of the Dead over the last couple of days. But when every night at midnight, your base gets swarmed by a horde of zombies. Yeah, you better um, have your base good and solid and keep continuing to upgrade it all the time. They're underground. Like, what am I hearing? It's the larva underground. Because there's their mar That's the marker for the larva side of the cave. Well, yeah, I mean, neighbor kids, like, throw... That's where all the food comes from. It's from all the neighbor kids. As they're walking by, they throw their, their food that they don't want over the fence. The sprinklers could be on an automatic timer. Someone obviously cared at some point because they even brought pesticide out here to spray in the yard. And how they walk through the yard. And here's another thing. Crow feather locations. Did I get it? Uh, two. I guess I did. Did it roll into the water? Are you going to drop another feather? Huh? I'm going to stand here and watch. 
Actually, I'm going to come over here and stand on top of the mysterious machine. I watched one fall off of him the other day. Fell down, hit some uh, the top of the grass right there. And then it bounced off a couple more pieces of grass and landed over here. And with the blur turned off, the distance blur turned off, I can actually, we can actually see the feathers. If he drops one. Come on, dude. And fly. And fly. No. Yeah, you squawk a lot. Come on. No, I was just going to fly away and not drop a feather. He's going to be bashful about his feather dropping. Oh, that would be bad. What if the bird crapped on you? That'd be horrible. Oh, God. Could you imagine? You're running through the grass and all of a sudden, whack, and you're like stuck to the ground. Covered in bird crap. Yeah, that would definitely be crappy. It's true. Yeah, you could make it like a like a plaster or something like that. You could upgrade the grass walls to plaster walls. <laughs> Oh, actually, that's a brilliant idea. Okay, we've been standing here forever. Please fly. It'd be like the grounded version of concrete. No feather. See? So anticlimactic. What a jerk. All right, let's take a look at our inventory here. We have uh, some more dandelion tufts for the case. We got some spider stuff to tuck in the spider box over here. Like we need any of it. Um, let's see here. Put these over here. I guess I took them all out. They were here. So we'll tuck those back in there. And we will put the rubber and the feather over here. There we go. 
All right, guys, um, I'm actually going to wrap up the stream tonight. I know it's a little bit earlier. Can I shoot an arrow that high? No, unfortunately, the arrows don't do anything. I was literally standing 15 feet from him on next to the on, when he was on the perch by the bird bath and uh, absolutely no interaction whatsoever. The arrows just kind of disappeared. So. Did I see another YouTuber called Grounded a Ripoff? Said Little World or something like that. It was first. Actually, it was. The the idea for Little World or whatever it's called, <clears throat> the, the the Shrunk Down Elves, uh, actually uh, was first. Uh, their release trailer was in 2017, which was a full year before Obsidian was bought by Microsoft. And uh, Bernecki, who is the, one of the lead guys with uh, Obsidian, he's the actually the, the program director for Grounded. Uh, he said that they came, they came up with Grounded as we know it, with the kids shrunk down in the backyard, a la Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, uh, in 2018, right around the time that uh, they were being bought out by Microsoft. And then Microsoft gave them the go-ahead to continue with that idea. They pitched grounded to him and they liked it. But honestly, they're too, everything that I've seen of Little World or whatever it's called, uh, they're very, very different. First off, we're not elves and the ants aren't carrying big, huge acorns over them and stuff like that. So could, it, could Bernanke have been inspired by maybe he saw a video of Little World? Uh, that, that little teaser trailer that they put out three years ago and the game still not out. Yes. Is it a ripoff? Is either one of them a ripoff of each other? No, I don't think so. They are very, very different games. That's like saying, uh, I don't know, um, Night of the Dead is Seven Days to Die. Because they're both zombie survival games. Well, how many zombie survival games are there? So, no, I, I, I don't think so, Frank. You too, Chaz. Have a great night. Uh, tomorrow night, I will be streaming. Um, I may do some more Sniper Elite 4. That was kind of fun two weeks ago for our Friday night game night. Um, I may do some Mass Effect 2. I just have to see how I feel. Uh, what kind of mood I'm in to, to figure out which way I want to go. But I will be streaming tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow is uh, day one of, uh, of my new job. And it's not, I mean, it's essentially technical specs and stuff like that. Like most of the time they're going to be looking at my computer because I'm going to be working from home making sure that like my windows is up to date and um, I have the right software installed and all of those things, just getting me ready for the job. Uh, but I have to be there. I have, well here uh, all day tomorrow. So um, I have to get up a little bit earlier than I have been. So that's what I'm calling it an early night. And um, I want to thank everyone that has tuned in. Frank, thank you. Big thank you, Chaz. Uh, Great talking with you and I uh, hope that uh, you come around more often. I know that you have been commenting on my videos. Uh, Judah already left and um, I'm sure Otto's probably lurking in the background. He didn't say goodnight. Uh, Barbarian left. But anyway, I want to thank everyone uh, that uh, comes and hangs out. And uh, even if you don't uh, leave comments and stuff like that, that's totally fine. Uh, I love the fact that I look up and I have 12 likes on this video. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, 112 playbacks, so one out of 10 people. Mm, we may be able to do a little bit better than that, but that's all right. Uh, the 112 playbacks, at least someone came in and checked it out for a little bit. Uh, hopefully they liked what they saw. Thank you, guys. I will be streaming tomorrow night. Not sure which game, so stay tuned if you're not on my Discord, because typically I will uh, post... Uh, it'll show up on my Discord early because I schedule my streams. And uh, so you'll know uh, before I go live what I'm going to be streaming. And then Saturday night, I am streaming Night of the Dead. Whether Marcus joins me or not, um, I, I will definitely be doing Night of the Dead on Saturday night. Thank you, guys. And until next time, take care of yourselves. This is Drake Winvictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya.